Okay, so our new project is going to be Keyleth of the Arashari. She is another member of Vox Machina. She and um, Vax actually have a relationship going on. Um, her character left her tribe of the Arashari to go visit the other three tribes in order to learn from them so that she can one day take over being a leader. We're going to make her really colorful because uh, she is a druid, um, she is a nature-based uh, class, um, so, and she's a very bright and colorful personality. So we are going to start off with her cloak. We're going to make her cloak um, fall colors, but starting with green and then going into yellows uh, and ending in reds. And what we can do is her cloak has a lot of really interesting texture in it. So we're going to go through and we're going to add a couple of little highlighted bits. Her dress will be uh, different colors of greens and her staff will be, um, it is made out of wood. So we are going to use the browns to do that. And then we will end with a um, little bit of turquoise for the gem on her staff. You'll be able to see all of this when we get in for a closer look and start painting. <clears throat> so as usual, I'm using the Army of Painter Dungeons and Dragons official paint line, uh, the Adventures paint set and the Monsters paint set. We also have a wet palette over here, a variety of brushes, and of course the water to rinse our brush off, and sponge, paper towels, all the usual accoutrement for our uh, project. And I've already primed her. We're going to give her fair skin. Uh, I have a merfolk turquoise for the gem on her staff. The cobalt red, glistening blood, cambian crimson, dragonfire red are all going to be um, for the, the reddish portions of her cloak. Um, the fire newt orange is going to also show up in her cloak uh, along um, in her hair. Uh, and I'll probably mix a little bit of cobalt red with the fire newt orange because she is a redhead, by the way. <laughs> I don't want her to have orange, orange hair, so uh, I will tone down the fire nude orange with some um, some of the cobalt red. Uh, angelic yellow will also be in there. Um, I'm sorry, it's rust monster. Looks uh, better, I think, in her hair. The fire nude orange is more yellow, but again, so you'll see a lot of that in her cloak. Um, all the browns, the owlbear, minotaur, otug, bugbear, all of that will be part of um, the staff. And then the Feywild Emerald, and that should be Triant Green, not Triant Green. Green Flame, Grunge Green, all of that we will layer into her dress. And then um, the, the Dungeon Stone is usually what I finish up for their base. Uh, Waffle white and abyssal black to help with any lightening or darkening of anything that we might need to. Flesh wash and shadow wash. Uh, flesh wash for face and shadow wash uh, where we think it might help certain areas pop. And here is a picture of Keyleth. Like I said, um, oh, she is a half elf um, like Vex and Vax. A sweet little thing that was raised in, um, in a tribe that stayed up on top of a mountain, the Arashari. Uh, she is a very, very, very powerful druid, by the way. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are going to start with grunge green as a base for her dress and angelic yellow as a base for the um, front and back of her cloak. And as you can see, like I said before, it has some really cool texture there. As we are doing this, don't forget that you need to be sure to add a drop or so of water per drop of paint in order to thin it out so that it applies more smoothly and cleanly. You don't get clumps in your paint and it has a more natural look. <clears throat> 